Okay, in step two, um, I'm going to try and uh, put a hand on the end of one of the fingers. All right, so I do that by just duplicating the layer. All right, and we're going to have to, have to cut out the hand. All right, so we've done it in the past. The best way, honestly, is to use um, a combination of tools, maybe. All right, polygon lasso is probably the easiest, right? especially for something simple like this. Just come around here, just keep selecting. If you zoom in a little bit, Control Plus, and you can, you can get really detailed. Spacebar to hold the spacebar to move the canvas. Control Minus is probably a little bit close. All right. All right. So you go all the way around. If you make a mistake, accidentally click out here. You can press Backspace to undo those those ones. You can keep selecting away. Right, the ability to select is very good. Right. I'm going to press escape. You, you can do it that way if you want. There's another way to do it. I'll show you a couple of different ways. And that is you can use this tool here. Right? So you click the quick selection tool. Right? And you can come around here. And come up the middle there. Space bar, oops, space bar to move down. There we go, and that's on a, on a simple image like this with the white background. That's that's probably the best way to do it. Now what you want to do is press control. Well, actually, what you could do is click the layer mask. It'll automatically hide it. So if we hide that layer below it, you can see it's removed the background. All right. So let's zoom in there and get rid of that. Yep. It's done a pretty good job actually. Alright. Now select the actual layer itself by clicking on this left hand icon part of in the layer and press Ctrl T. Make it nice and small. Come over here. Nice and small. So it sort of lines up with the end of the finger. Use the mouse wheel and zoom in a bit. Yeah, might need to make it a tiny bit smaller. Looks sort of like it's going to blend in. The colors are a little bit different. The key with these is keeping an even color all over and taking both photos in the same light conditions. Alright, so now we've got it sort of lined up. So now what we can actually do is come up here. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate that layer because I know I'm going to need it later on and just move it over here. Right, so I'll just move it so I've got it. I'll need that layer again. Right. Press space. Come in here. Select. Make sure you select the actual layer mask. That's a, a really easy thing to accidentally not do. And we're going to use an opacity of about 50%. Uh, brush size about 90. And we're going to sort of just paint in here, just so it gently fades away. All right, I'm clicking away. All right. Alt and zoom out. Might even lay, move this down just a little bit, like so. Press the B, B key or select the brush and brush that in. Oops. Anyway. So there we go. So that sort of looks like it's 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 gone in. All right. And basically, it's just a matter of all right. So this one here. Press the V tool. So I select this layer. Move this up, Control T to sort of rotate it into the right position. All right, hit Enter. Create a copy of it by dragging it onto the new layer icon. So we've got one on each. Again, Control T to make it a little bit bigger. All right, and do that for each one. So go along, and, and you should end up with sort of five hands, and it should end up something looking like that. All right. The last thing I've done in this one is at the top here, All right. come to adjustment layer and I've put a bit of a curves layer in. All right, select linear contrast from this drop down and it just gives it a little bit of punch. I'll zoom out. All right, just gives it a bit more contrast, makes it a little bit more interesting looking. Right. If I didn't like that or if I wanted to make it medium contrast, I could come back and 
and change that without affecting the original pixels. Okay, uh, so it's non-destructive editing, so you can come back and change it at any stage. All right, and that's the final step. So have a go at that one.